You may not have noticed, but Power Query doesn't have an undo button. So let me just show you. First of all, we're going to put this into Power Query. So you'll see we've got it in, and maybe we're going to move stuff around. So I'm going to move that there and maybe change that to revenue. And then I realize I've made a mistake I need to undo. Notice there's no undo button at the moment. However, effectively, an undo can be controlled here with your applied steps. Because keep in mind that these just work through your steps. So there's the original source. So this is me redoing it. So notice over here, the name is in that column. When I reordered it, the name moves over here. The renamed column, there it's revenue, there it's amount. So to undo is as simple as just moving to the prior step. And if you permanently want to do it, you then delete this item and it will undo. But just be careful, I can delete it. So we effectively have done an undo. But notice, well, there's no redo and there's no quick way. Once you've deleted that step, you, you'll have to recreate the step, re-go through all the processes.